Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. And in this guitar lesson video, we're gonna be going over how to play Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman, awesome song. Let's get into the lesson. So I had a student who was like, Lauren, you did the lesson on the intro and how to play the riff for Pretty Woman. Can we get the full lesson? So yeah, here it is. And if you wanna go check out that intro lick, I'll put a link up here for you guys to go learn that separately. Won't be going over that in this lesson. I'll just be going over the chords and the strumming. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first talk about the chords we're gonna use for this. We're gonna go over the strumming patterns as well as the chord progressions. There is a really interesting key change that happens in this song, so we'll discuss that as well. So let's get started. So this song can be played at the beginner level. We're using a lot of really simple open chords here. We have A, D, E. There is an F sharp minor, and I know that's a bar chord. But for you beginners, all you have to do is take your A chord and move it down to the bottom three strings. And that is a very easy F sharp minor, simple fix so that you guys can play this song at the beginner level. Later during our key change, we do get the D minor chord that comes in as well as a G7. If you don't know a G7, that's okay. You can just play a regular G chord, but we'll talk about those chords when we get to the bridge section. So I'm gonna give you three strumming patterns starting from the easiest to the hardest. So let's start with the first one. Just gonna be very simple, four down strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very, very simple. The next one is we're gonna throw in some up strums. So strumming option number two would be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. That would be the next level. And the hardest one would be our syncopated rhythm. Syncopation means we're missing one of the down strums. So it'd be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. So those are the strumming patterns that we're gonna use. Choose whichever one works best for your playing level. And now we're gonna get into playing the actual song. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so, so that you know when I release new lessons just like this one. So let's go over the chord progression for the verse. If you need to grab the chord chart, if you wanna know what I'm talking about here, go to my website, laurenbateman.com. I have all my chord charts there for these songs. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go check that out as well. So the chord progression is going to be A, to F sharp minor. Now, if you're a beginner, this is a really great change because you can just take that A and move it down to the easy F sharp minor and then right back to A. Okay, it does that twice. So it goes A, F sharp minor, A, F sharp minor. Then we have a D chord twice. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we have an E chord for four measures. All right, so we're really gonna hang out on that E chord. This is what's so great about this song, at least these verses, is you get to hang out on some of these chords for a while. So if I went through and played, I'm gonna use the hard, um, the hard, harder strumming pattern. It would sound like this for this verse. So we got one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> that E minor through, you're gonna go right back into that intro licks. So like I said, if you don't know that intro lick, go check it out. It is an essential part of this song, but it can be hard going between that lick and the chords. So if, you, if you're not used to that skill yet, I would just stick to the strumming. And when you get to this intro, the lick section, just hold your strumming until you get back to the lyrics. So once you get through that first uh, verse, we're gonna have another little, like I said, intro section. We're gonna have another verse and then another intro section. And then we have a really interesting dynamic that happens here. We change keys. And if you don't know what that means, keys are just families of chords that sound really good together. 
But when you listen to this song, when we get to this bridge, and this happens on songs and bridges very commonly, all of a sudden we're playing chords that we haven't played before in other parts of the song. So it sounds kind of jarring almost. So the chords we're getting to in this section is D minor, and then we have a G7. And like I said earlier, if you can't play G7, just play a regular G chord, that works too. A C major, and an A minor. And then towards the end, we get back on our A so that we can change back to the original key. So we're playing D minor, G7, C, A minor. We're doing that one, two, three times, okay? And then the very last time we play D minor, G7, C, and A major, okay? So everything is D minor, G7, C, A minor until the very last time through, we're going to A major instead of A minor. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Pretty woman, stop a while. Mm -hmm. Pretty woman, give your smile to me. A major and then here's another interesting part we go back to the original key but our chord progression has changed a little bit so from this A we're going to F sharp minor then D major then an E major then A major again F sharp minor D and E now the song ends a little bit interesting. It ends a lot on that intro and Roy keeps kind of talking over it. Again, you can just do the E. And I would maybe stick to an eighth note strumming pattern because that lick, that lick is da na 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 It's an eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down up down up down up down up down down up down up down up down up down up down up and at the very end of the song he goes pretty woman right so on the ending how we're gonna tie in and end this song is we're just gonna go pretty woman it's a really quick a a a a pretty woman all right so that's how you're gonna end this entire song if you guys enjoyed this lesson make sure to give me a like as a reminder, I do have a guitar course. If you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll put a link in the description below for you to go look at that. YouTube is going to show you a couple more videos over here that you might be interested in. So go ahead, click on one of those, and I hope to see you guys in another lesson video.